You know, when I asked you guys for your 21 Pilot hot takes at the beginning of October, I was expecting the first couple of hot takes to be about songs, about albums, about the boys live, about Tyler and Josh themselves. What I was not expecting was people to submit their theories in the hot takes page. And we had enough for a full episode, much to my surprise, and we have enough for an episode too, which I'm 100% fine with because it lets me know what you guys are thinking. And plus, we get to do a little theory critique. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, I hope you're having a good day today. Hope your day's going well and hope it continues to go well. Welcome back to the 21 Pilot Hot Take series. We go over your 21 Pilot Hot Hot takes and it's not too late at all to get in on this hot take stuff if you go down to the description box below as well as to the pinned comment there will be a link that will take you over to this google form where you can anonymously submit your 21 pilot hot take whether it be about a theory which is today's episode a song an album or the topic of next week, which is the miscellaneous stuff. Hot takes about Tyler, Josh, uh, the band's live, eras, anything that doesn't fit one of those categories will be submitted into that that episode right there. And also, if you submitted a hot take already and didn't see it in a previous episode, that's because odds are we're saving it for an episode where it falls in the line, whether it be songs, albums, blah, 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 you know, that all admin stuff. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your theory hot takes. <laughs> Let's get right into it. What if every Ned represents something different? Like they each represent different ways of creativity, like music writing, book writing, art slash drawing, and we all have our own Ned whenever we write fic, fan art, or music covers. Apologies if this makes zero sense, I'm tired. No, that makes 100% sense, and sometimes Ned just stays here and will not communicate with you at all, especially when you're trying to write music. But no, I do love that, especially because we have the whole family of Neds, especially in the outside music video. Definitely like that one. You're such a freeloader. I am 99% certain a car, a torch, a death is a part of the Dima story because a car, heavy dirty soul, a torch, trench, a death, Keon's trash, maybe even Tyler or Clancy. Tyler could have planned it all out since self-titled, who knows? Demo related or not, I still love the song. While I don't think Tyler had this idea all the way back in the self-titled days, I think he started developing it midway through the Blurry Face era, because I remember him saying that he was writing Bandito in 2015, I want to say. So I think Midway through Blurry Face, he had the Dima idea, but definitely not back in 2009. But yes, A Car, Torch of Death, I've seen this get thrown around a lot, really since the beginning of self-titled, because of course we all, we've had the car, we've had the torch, and when Scale Nicey came out, well, it got announced, we figured out the anagram of Clancy is dead. So there was our first death, then Keon's died, then we figured out Trash is an empty vessel that the bishops could possess, so Trash has been dead since the beginning of the album cycle, as well as Dan and Sally in the live stream. So many a death, uh, many a cars, and many a torches. So I definitely do like where you're going with this. Is it the part of the Dima storyline? Uh, people go 50-50 on that one. Clancy is obviously not dead, but the bishops want us to think he is so we lose hope. He might be held captive, scaled back and isolated as he sings or redecorates. He might be literally scaled back like Tyler has been in the Choker music video. At one time, Keon's let him escape through the submarine by controlling Trash the Dragon, and now Clancy is on the outside. This is of course assuming that Tyler is Clancy. And it took me a minute to figure out what you mean by scaled back like in the Choker music video until I realized, oh, that's right, Tyler is a li literally a scaled back figurine of himself at the end of the music video. Completely forgot about that fever dream of a music video, but definitely uh, the bishops want us to lose hope, so that's why they say Clancy is dead in this whole propaganda album and re- uh, anagram everything as scaled as scaled in icy so thumbs up 
Okay, this is my follow-up on the don't overanalyze lore. So my point was that this is already a super unique way to tell a story, through lyrics, music videos, and letters. Like, this isn't a TV show. So I feel like, and maybe this just feels like a plot hole excuse to you, that if we aren't told where Josh was during Psy, then maybe that's not important to the story. Like, there's clearly allegorical things they want to be taken away from the story. And the benefit of this uh, not being TV is that not everything is shown or needs to be. It's the main story beats that count. I would say this also definitely applies to the how they get the Dima theories. But I also do want to say that I very much enjoy all your theories just for context. Videos are great still. Just kind of how I feel about things. You don't understand. If I don't overanalyze lore, people aren't going to watch the channel. If people don't watch the channel, the channel will die. I need to overanalyze lore so that way people still watch. That being said, I uh, definitely agree with you on the whole things uh, not being shown are probably not important to the storyline. Uh, and like, there are things that do slightly bother me, such as like knowing that 21 Pilots as the band exists within the Dima universe, because Blurry, the album Blurry Face exists, the album Vessel exists, the album Trench exists, and I want to know all that stuff. Like, I do want to know these inner working things. I just have to wait until Tyler publishes that uh, comic book thing he talked about in the Zane Lowe interview, but I definitely do see where you're coming from. Just know I'm going to keep over analyzing so that way people watch the channel so the channel won't die. Thumbs up. <laughs> well, the end of the jumpsuit music video is the end of the storyline. Because why did the bishop drive out the car? And why does Tyler just walk away with no one watching him? It's like they're releasing him. And he also pulls the rusty, dusty, crusty jumpsuit out of the trunk. And he says, we've been here the whole time you were asleep. It's either the end of the storyline or it's going to happen in the next music video or album. Saying if he means Psy was a dream. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Well, Tyler did confirm next 21 Pilot album will be the end of the Dima storyline, so we do get one more full album left. And as far as the jumpsuit music video being the end of the Dima storyline, I've never heard that one before, and that is interesting. The way that I've heard Mark from Real Bear Media explain the jumpsuit music video, to which I'm going to definitely listen to him, because if not Tyler and Josh, Mark knows the most information about it. Uh, so the way he explained it is that jump the end of jumpsuit takes immediately after Heavy Dirty Soul, and then... Begin, and then Tyler walks, and he walks into Trench, where the rest of Jumpsuit happens, gets pulled, taken into Dima, Nico Niners happens, Levitate happens, and then we start the cycle, and cycle, and cycle, and cycle, and then we go into Psy, where I guess you can say it's a dream, because like Shia Wei and Choker, how do you explain that stuff, especially Choker, but not everything can be a dream because of Saturday in the outside being clear continuation of the Dima storyline and the lore, because we got the Clancy letters with those, so that is definite, happened in uh, the lore, confirmed. So that part can't be a dream, but I don't know. Uh, if, 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 if this ends with Tyler waking up from sleep, I might be mad because the dream ending is such, such a cop out. It was all a dream. Woo. Unless they explain it really well, then I'll be fine with it. I think the next era color will be purple. I also think that and many other people agree as well. Slow Town is Mulberry Street before the bishops took over. Oh, how I would love there to be a timeline where regional at best was a part of the official 21 pilot catalog so we can speculate on it being a part of the Dima storyline. Unfortunately, it's not a part of the official catalog or else it would be on major streaming services such as Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon. The only streaming services where it's on is Pandora as well as Deezer. So we live in a timeline where self-titled has more of a chance of being part of the Dima storyline than regional at best. If it was, I definitely would like this theory. But just they acknowledge regional at best during the IC tour. Yes, but they played Force, which is also a vessel bonus track, and as well as Kitchen Sink, Glowing Eyes, and Lovely. So, oh, but I would love there to be a day. I would love there to be a day where regional at best is a part of the official catalog. Their next era colors will be purple or orange. The orange part is interesting on this. They did tease orange a little bit in this 
era, even a little bit during the trench era in the Levitate music video, there was a person wearing an orange beanie, where I think the color orange represents prisoner, like as you would see in the Heathens music video with the orange prisoner outfit and Tyler's beanie in the Choker music video, I think it represents prisoner in the Dima canon, but I think an orange era would be interesting. However, I think purple is more likely. Purple and orange? Maybe. Saying Tyler couldn't have possibly had the idea of Dima back in the self-titled days of 21 Pilots is doubting his mind and talk about sagas. No, it's not. It is not a great song at all. Should have cropped it for this because should have went the song part. But as far as the uh him having the idea back self-titled days, like I said, we really don't know until the guy tells us. We all we know is that he got the idea when he was swimming in an ocean. So maybe during Vessel, maybe during self-titled, but who who knows? We we just know Tyler came up with the idea when he was swimming in an ocean, if I remember that correctly. Actually, here is a clip from Tyler that he did with Zayn Lowe back in 2018. And this individual clip was uploaded by Pelo Pilots. I'll leave a link down in the description box below. This is Tyler talking about Dima and coming up with the world. The moment, our last show, which was here in Columbus, it's like our final show of the entire cycle. I went home and I started work coming up with this, this world. And it just, it took, it, it started to consume me. So he came up with, he, after the last show they did, Blurry Face Era, so 2017, he went home and started developing this world, which we will now call Dima. Now, if he had this idea longer than that, who knows? If that was, the idea was just floating around his brain, but it looks like he didn't start com coming up with this world until Blurry Face Era ended. I think Bounce Man has as just much lore intertwined as other lore heavy songs, and it has enough potential to possibly be the next so Psy song with a music video, if there is one. Definitely agree, Bounce Man does have a lot of lore elements intertwined woven in it with hidden messages underneath the surface, such as the title, Bounce Man as in bounce out of Dima. A uh, little code hidden in there for the people inside of Dima as well as for the banditos. But would it make a good music video? If Ned wasn't found, then yes, I would say it would make a good music video. However, I don't think at the moment it would. They expected Slash 1 to never take it to be way bigger than it was. I think that maybe the outside music video was originally going to be for Never Take It. It seems to be the climax of the live stream after the FPE siren goes off. It's the Rebellion song, maybe even meant to be a signal to the Banditos. 100%. Definitely agreed. We talked about it a lot on the channel in terms of side music videos, and we always go back to those control uh, the co console room for the live stream experience with the board with a board full of inputs for the eleven songs. You see, there was four inputs, and one of those was for Never Take Us. They were anticipating it, and it didn't happen. People loved the outside way more, and people just really didn't like Never Take It. I don't know how common this theory is, but I think Tyler always being Clancy just doesn't really add up. Clancy talks about the events of the music video for Jumpsuit from an outsider perspective. I've seen people say that it's an out-of-body experience, or even disassociation, which isn't how it works, but I feel like it's a cop-out, which I know the newer entry about the Saturday music video talks from Tyler's point of view, but I feel like it's easier to justify that. In my opinion, Clancy is less a character and is more so a role. Maybe not initially, maybe Clancy was the actual origin, original character's name, but I think once the original Clancy committed to vilism after being caught by the bishops, Tyler took his place and became the new Clancy. I mean, maybe Clancy didn't even actually commit to vilism, and it's just part of the propaganda too, but I think Tyler, the Tyler has always been Clancy, just doesn't feel like a, as good of 
a story. So going on the jumpsuit part of this, a lot of people have pulled Tyler Bean Clancy from uh, the journal we got immediately after the outside music video, for uh, which you you probably know this already. But the, the paragraph saying episodes I would have the blood red vision, aka every time you would see Tyler with red eyes, which isn't related to us, the dreams of flying, the out of body account of the rider in the river. Those are the two things that get people thinking Tyler is Clancy and that whole thing was an out of body experience, especially the uh, the part about flying and the out of body account of the rider in the river. And I've seen pe people comment about the whole Clancy is just a role name given to uh, various people within the Banditos. I've definitely seen that and it's just one of those things. We'll see. The next album could be purple, but if you look at the color wheel, starting from red to yellow to light blue and then to purple, but if we're breaking the cycle in half, then what does it mean about this album? I could see a dark green, just a guess though. Continuation to the color wheel theory. I also believe green would work because what does TOP do with at the end of every show? Trees! And maybe they escape the trench through the trees. So the breaking the cycle in half is the, the of course them like escaping Dima and finally putting an end to the cycle being drugged back to Dima, which apparently is also going for the whole uh, album release cycle too. As far as the colors and the color wheel, if the cycle's broken in half with the colors, I can see the green as well, but purple. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people want purple. As far as maybe they escape, escape Trench through the trees, Trench is kind of its own continent, so they would have to go through the water. They would have to go through the water, but honestly, I can see green too, or purple and green, who knows? And finally, I don't want the next album to end with us defeating Blurryface or the Nine Bishops. I feel like that would be not accurate to the depiction of mental health. Why I want the next album to end is either kind of a truce or Tyler learning to deal with the bishops. I don't want the Dima to be destroyed. Don't get me wrong, that'd be amazing, but it's just not accurate. I'm also in that camp as well as, I think Stone Potential is also in that camp as well as a, a whole bunch of other people. I think that would be the best way to end the Dima storyline is a truce and like compromise that sort of ending. I feel like that is the way to end the Dima storyline. Because again, you're right. Defe Mental health does not get defeated. It just doesn't go away. It always comes back. It always comes back. And it's just something you have to learn to, to deal with. And I know that's what a lot of people do. And I definitely think that'd be the way to end the Dima storyline. And that is the way to end this video. So I really hope you enjoyed uh, all this theory critiquing sort of things. Probably made it long because I did call out on every single one, probably more than I should have, but who? Oh well. Oh well. But if you guys want to uh, have your hot take in the video, go to the forum down below, submit your Toyo Pilot hot take. It is currently 1.40 in the morning. Oh my, I'm going to bed. <laughs> well, I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. And good night. More importantly, have a good day. And I'll see you later.